Hi everyone, my name is Dan Hume. I am studio manager here at the music faculty and also course convener for recording and producing music. We have been listening to the Ezra Collective, who were the first jazz act to win the Mercury Music Prize this year. The prize was established in 1991 to recognize artistic achievement across a range of contemporary genres. At the end of this presentation, I'm going to play a few submissions from last year's FHS Recording and Producing Music finalists. Now approaching its 100th year anniversary, the burgeoning development of electric sound recording, distribution and the broad rise of electronic media has had a profound and well-documented impact on not only the way musical culture is consumed, but also in the way it is written and produced. Throughout this relatively short history, there have been many pioneers who have, who have explored the potential of the new technologies, developed new strategies for composition, and eventually even new musical genres have emerged. Fueled by an ever-growing back catalogue of sound recordings as sources of both inspiration and compositional material, and the restless commercial march of new instrument designs and new studio tools, one can trace an historical line from Pierre Schaeffer's Music Concrete to Pauline Oliveris' Deep Listening Project, Theo Macero's experimental cut-and-paste production on Miles Davis's electric recordings, Brian Eno's early ideas of studio as compositional tool and subsequent career as both art music composer and commercial record producer, the crate digging and sampling innovations of hip hop producer Jay Diller, to Holly Herndon's AI generated digital composition and performance twin, Holly Plus. Musical composition and performance have been remolded through technology. In the process, to some extent, conflating high art and popular culture and simultaneously moving us back towards an oral tradition. We are lucky to live in a time where we can have a fully featured music studio on our laptops. Most all commercial DOWs will function as a multi-track recorder, sound editor, MIDI sequencer, mixer, and host to countless virtual synthesizers, samples, and effects processors. This module aims to not only encourage the participants to be at home in the music studio, but also to push at the edges of their practice, explore new approaches and innovations, and play with genre, identity, and music definition. Only through this exploration will our sonic adventurers, you guys, break new ground and perhaps find your own sonic signature that might make you be heard above the noise. So to talk a little bit about the mechanics of the course and give you an overview, the course will take the shape of eight studio-based seminars through Trinity Term that will tutor participants on theory and the practical application of music technology, studio technology, to create new recorded musical works. Topics will include recording, mixing, mastering, as well as creative programming and sound design. There will be also oral and written analyses uh, focused uh, on recorded works from specific producers across genres uh, with a focus on the effects of technology, procedure and processing as well as song form and structure. During these seminars we will be working collaboratively on a, uh, a, a mix, remix of um, um, a David Byrne from Talking Heads fame and Brian Eno track taken from their uh, 1981 album, My Life in the Bush of Ghosts. The track is called Help Me Somebody. And we have the, the, uh, the stems from this track under Creative Commons license, so we can share them with uh, the course participants. Uh, and through the eight weeks, as well as learning about techniques and technologies, we'll be focusing on a kind of creative project in two larger groups. Uh, and these can be worked on and um, translated into any sort of genre that you would like, um, but as a group. Outside of the seminars, uh, participants are required um, to begin work on their own production portfolio for submission. Uh, and ideally, start as soon as you can and keep a production diary throughout this period. Uh, and the, the sooner you start, the better, is what I always try and impress upon people, because it's planning out a project like this 
um, is really important. Uh, and as long form as you can be about it, the better. Just a word about the final submissions. The final submissions will be examined on their creative and technical merits. So the creative use of technology, uh, innovation in composition, innovation and quality of recorded and synthesized sound, uh, the quality of captured or edited performance, and the spectral dynamic balance and narrative musical success of the original work. So the portfolio is 70% of the final examination, so it's worth spending the time here and, and starting as early as you can. Um, and there are three options for submission. The uh, first option is an original, or sorry, two original recorded and mixed productions of no more than six minutes in length each. The uh, option two is uh, one original film soundtrack of no more than 10 minutes, plus a submitted score for that soundtrack. And then option three is, is an original production and an abstract remix of that production, plus the aforementioned uh, critical written account that um, should be submitted with um, uh, key decisions highlighted, perhaps taken from your production diary. There is also a critical written, written element, um, which uh, consists of 30% of the final examination. Um, that is an essay of no more than three and a half thousand words. Um, and the, there are some example um, questions uh, online for you to have a look at. So um, potential participants ideally would have completed the uh, experimental electronic music option as part of composition. However, if you um, haven't done that, but you are an experienced music producer, um, perhaps we can talk about your involvement. Um, so please get in contact. Um, the participant numbers are uh, quite limited due to studio size. So um, please register your interest with the, the academic administrator, Ben. And please do get in contact with any further questions. Uh, I'm sure you will know my email, but if you don't, it's daniel.hume, H-U-L-M-E, at music.ox.ac.uk. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope to see you all soon. And I will leave you with some of the um, submissions from last year. Thank you. Close your eyes and look deep at the sun.